We'll have a lot of work internally before we have a balanced budget that I can present to the council. The preview of Bridgewater's budget season? Taxing. Revenue at just under 51 million, 50 million 970. And we're looking at expenses of 52 million 623. Um, so that uh, that gives us a deficit of, of about a million uh, six fifty two at this stage. But manager Michael Dutton is taking it all in stride. That's about a million six fifty two worth of talking a lot. That's the work that uh, I get paid to do. Cost drivers to look out for a four hundred thousand dollar increase to health insurance. The Mayflower uh, Municipal uh, Health Group has all but officially announced they will be increasing premium and, uh, rates by 15 percent. A 15 percent increase would mean a, uh, a little over three million, three million fifty nine thousand. Uh, so we are going to have to contend with that. Um, there's not a whole lot uh, about we can do about that. And over at BR, major increases in both out of district placement costs and student enrollment resulting in a 4.34 percent increase to Bridgewater's assessment. The bottom line result is that the total operating assessment for Bridgewater uh, is a little over a million dollars over last year's uh, district assessments. Talks so will continue with the district on this figure this over the next the few months. Councillor Wood mentioned asking the district to request the state's help with out-of-district placement costs. Because some of the children do need literally $100,000 in transportation and much more in special care. None of that should be reduced, but if they move into district after October 1st, the district takes on the whole thing, except the state does reimburse up to, in some cases, up to 75%, but it's still a, a very large number. Whereas I was asking if we could, and maybe at the council level we could also suggest this, if the state were to take on more responsibility of that directly, then the individual districts around the state wouldn't have to worry about the impact of that to that particular town budget like like we're worrying about that t right now i do anticipate uh revisions to the budgets that the departments have have submitted um obviously i anticipate uh, a lot of su substantial discussion uh with the district and uh, some expense reductions and possibly position reductions